Look at that. Isn't that impressive? This is one of them light things. Uh, what are they called? I don't remember. The box is somewhere in this office, though. Here it is. It's a projector, duh. A projector of what? I don't know. It's one of those, you know, water and oil, and it spins around, and the temperature changes, and there's two different colors, so it ends up getting well like this. I usually don't have it on because it means I have to have all the other lights off so I can see it. It also makes this thing kind of upload kind of slowly or update kind of slowly because there's not enough light for the camera to react. Let's see. Can we bring it back to me? I'm trying to figure out where this is. Oh my gosh. What, a, what an ugly lad. That chap is unattractive. It's not telegenic. Give these up to number video number 100 on YouTube. Oops. Goodbye. Problem is, whenever I move this, uh huh, 538. Whoa. Inevitably. I lose the balance on this thing. I forget how I had it perched up here in the first place. Come on, man. Well, I've learned my lesson. Let's put some lights on in here. Stay. Whoa! What's happening? I'm going on a magic carpet ride. Why does it want to fall? What am I doing wrong? Look, I've already wasted two minutes just trying to adjust this stupid thing. Perfect! Is that eyelash still there? Amy made the perfect uh, observation: is that it's it's like a, it's an Andy Rooney type eye, eyebrow, and it's so obvious. I can't believe I didn't think of it. But sometimes I really miss out on the obvious stuff because I'm too busy knowing the trivial stuff. Speaking of trivia, we did not win, but we got 37 out of 50, and that's pretty good for a first time at a notoriously difficult trivia pub trivia place. What the F? Come on, man. This is the perfect 100th video. Me saying nothing. Just trying to constantly adjust the st stupid camera so that it... Why isn't it working? I wish I could show you the... But I can't. I would show you the uh, camera stand itself, so you can see just what I'm trying to deal with here and failing. That's close. We're almost there. I can just get my get me in the shot, if you don't mind. There we go. How long did that take? Four and a half minutes. Of course, I don't know how long we stared at, stared at the camera. Ah, in fact, you can see it's on right now. I have to unplug it. There we go. Whoops. Oh, it's a big honking power supply, too. It must be a... I don't know, it must be a hot light bulb, but it's never burned itself out on me for which I am thankful. It's probably no, uh, notoriously hard to replace a bulb as well. This is neat. It's not Scarlett Johansson. In fact, is that 
Jeremy Renner. Did you know I went to elementary school and junior high and high school with Jeremy Renner? I think I've mentioned it before. We were not friends. Although, back in the days of the earliest BBS systems, he did have a modem and he did call in once and we exchanged messages on a BBS. And it was the coolest thing ever because no one had ever done that before. Well, it was new to us in our hick town in the sixth grade or whatever it was. Uh, you heard the 538 bong. Thank you, Taco Bell. It's now 542. And it's currently a beautiful 64 degrees. Lovely weather. Still just enough cloud cover. I did not mow the lawn. I went to pub trivia instead. And an example of how my pub trivia mind works. One of the questions. Look, I got a little more anything going on there. I wonder if that will translate to YouTube. One of the questions was, uh, who's the guy who played uh, Captain Honeycutt in MASH? And, of course, it's Mike Farrell, but I couldn't remember his name for the life of me. I, I could see him, I could picture him, but I couldn't remember his name. And the weird part is the way I would try to remember his name was from the fake book of his that Lisa presented to Homer during Homer's hunger strike. And it was a picture of him, just kind of. And I, I thought the title was Things I Believe. It was actually My Core Beliefs. But I could see the book, and the name was on the book. And th somehow that's how I got to Mike Farrell. So I can only remember trivial knowledge uh, via its brief appearance during notable episodes of The Simpsons. That's how my mind works. You suspected that all along, but now you have proof. I ate my crunchy bar. Can you see it? Uh, it is not great. I don't know. Sponge toffee. It's not like sponge. It's like crunchy. It's like a crunchy thing with a lot of air and holes in it. And I guess James loves it, right? That's why I got it. But I, I don't know. It first of all, it felt like cavities in every one of the teeth in my mouth, just waiting to happen because it was so sweet. But it was also I, not a texture I was big on. I'm, I like more uh, Kit Kat, so that kind of poofy kind of crunch, or something more airy and not as crunchy. So crunchy, mm. the reason I'm not wearing the finger laser, which is probably what Cerebus wanted, these little rubber things, like almost immediately broke, so I can't actually s snap it to my finger anymore. So I can turn it on and I can hold it, but I can't put it on my. I can't make it a, a finger laser. Well, maybe I can. No, not really. They're not all like this, but the, a lot of them are close, or you can just kind of see where the perforation is. So it's very sad. Poor finger lasers. But I will. Uh, here's my flashing stick. Remember the old flashing stick? Yeah. So hopefully that will fulfill the flashing light quota. Actually, what I was going to do, and I totally forgot, was to hit some of the LEDs behind me. I can do one right now. I should have done all of them, but I didn't. So I'll have to wait. But that's okay. It's not like this is the last one. We got a whole bunch of gimmicky gimmicks to get through before I get tired of this. No, I don't know. Actually, I'm a little tired of it already, but it's only the end of May. I could see this going all year. Number 100, my goodness. And I owe it all to the 15 of you who continue to watch for some inexplicable reason. But thank you. And it looks like my 10 minutes is about up, so I'm going to close it up. I have tomorrow off, so unless I come into the office, highly unlikely, you will not see me again until Monday. Uh, but that's okay. You will live, and God willing, I will live too. I'll see you Monday.
Love you. Bye.